Okay, this is what I do. I turn on audio track mixer. Window, audio track mixer. Usually it's just a checkbox, but they have this new drop down, so you can choose which timeline you're actually looking at. And that's what that's what's highlighted here in this box here. So I have all the tracks I'm using. I'm using a lot of tracks. I have one for every single mic per individual per mic. So um, number seven is microphone number one for Chad. Number eight is microphone number two for Chad. And I have that separately for Eric here. Um, he's on five and six. And Ryan is on one and two in all cases. And you can see that Ryan, um, we have sound effects of different kinds and music. And these are, this is camera audio because I didn't have a microphone. My, my audio guy wasn't recording audio during that part, but we use the camera mic. Um, higher professionals. So I've learned Cindy has three separate tracks because she had mic one, mic two in certain circumstances, mic three needed a separate EQ because these were like super noisy or had airplanes happening in the background. That's how I organize things. And music is like a whole separate world down here that I worked with. Okay, so we're gonna work on just Chad. We're gonna jump in. He actually has something I found out during what we were talking, I remembered why I didn't have any filters on his thing. And that's because if you click on, if you click on these, I have filters on each track. And this is the old way I used to do it. And it's a terrible way to do it because to ever undo anything or change something for an entire microphone or person, you have to undo every single one of every single one of these little clips I have and have a separate one for each one. So don't do it that way. Don't just drop on a filter. Use the audio track mixer, go in here. And for, I'm on track seven. Let me just verify that you can see the little play in turn yellow. How comfortable yeah, other people okay. were so with these with two. Being, uh, it says seven and off. Seven, they thought that, you know, Ryan being at his brother's funeral was, here, was an and I named them as well. Was regarded as an act of Okay, so what I do, so I have mastering here. You just double click this and you have what the EQ. So back then I boosted lows for him. Okay, so we're just going to put one on here just to show you how you find it. You go to filter EQ. You go to parametric equalizer. That's the normal, that's the big one I want you to work with. And then the other one I want you to work with is like the the final touch, even though it's a really basic EQ. So first I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna zero this out, zero this out, everything's zero. I want everything to be back to just baseline. And baseline is there and there. And I turn on lows, but it's all pretty zeroed out. Okay, but that's off now, right here's off. I said parametric EQ, I'm gonna turn it on. This is, this is the basic thing I want to show you. So we are on eight right now. So we're gonna select eight is the only thing we're listening to. Audacity, how selfish. Okay, so eight's low, eight's my like backup mic. It fills in the sound, but my other mic was a primary mic, so you can actually hear the difference. Why can't he just like leave us alone? Okay, so we're just gonna work on this other backup mic. It's his brother's funeral. It's pretty thin. Like that moment was just like, what? Okay. What's cool about this, you don't have to worry about these little cuts and everything. Like, it should all be even. The death of. Okay. So, my very first thing I do is I go high pass filter, low pass filter. The f and they kind of they drop at pretty um, open. They're pretty open. They're still containing most of the information. So, I'm going to play. I'm going to just pull back the highs, or sorry, the high pass, um, which that means it's killing the lows and letting all the high stuff pass. And pull it in. Ryan being there. I know that it made those of us who have left the religion and have come back to talk about the topic, all of us were very uncomfortable with how. So you can kind of actually see, like you can see where it drops off and you can, you can actually work with this visually to some degree, but you can hear it. Like when you pull it in a little bit, you'd lose information. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the low pass filter and pull it in there and we'll just listen to it and make sure we don't lose too much. We don't really want to, we don't want to lose anything. We just want to cut off things that could cause problems in the, in the invisible world and cause resonant problems and stuff. This is like a less a Ryan lesson. You want to kill all the frequencies you can't hear anything in because you don't know what they're doing in some unnoticeable place. And have come back to talk about the topic. All of us were very uncomfortable with how. So that's about, that's the basic thing. And then the thing I was trying to show you in the other video is I just pull these up. It's, I, sorry, narrow this down to 11 and I want to raise this up to like 15 and give a super spike, right? A very thin spike. The 11 makes it thin. The 15 decibels makes it tall. We're going to play and sweep. And the sweep, what that does is it, um, you're going to notice frequencies, reflections, 
and um, vocal, vocal qualities that are un, unpleasant and don't actually, ha- he does, this person wouldn't necessarily have those qualities in real life. It's like a, a limitation of the technology and a, and a factor of the room you're in. In a lot of rooms, almost every room has, has flat walls, flat floor, flat ceiling. So a lot of reflections, glass windows. Um, so everything has these qualities. You can hear them in real life, but are captured and we want to get rid of the parts that don't sound natural because we're in documentary or film you don't really want the unnatural thing so i'm gonna hit play how comfortable other people were with with being um pissed off they thought that it was, ryan being at his brother's funeral was it was an act of audacity was regarded as an act of audacity hear that whistle how selfish that's a great spot to drop to negative six decibels and that's killing it so we're going to keep on doing that across the board and you can just pull these up manually with the mouse but you can just dial it in and listen it's his brother's funeral sweep like that moment was just like what no that's not loving this is his brother you know he has human feelings even if I believe that he's probably going to die in Armageddon, I'm not happy about it. And I'm not happy to see anybody that I know and have loved and still did love suffering like that. It just was, just rang as like really selfish. Why, why isn't he thinking about us? Ryan knew him better than anyone else in the world. Okay. That was pretty close, and the, the trick is you just keep doing that. And what I found in the last video when I was doing this for Chad is this microphone, both these microphones have this kind of like whistly high end, and to get a nice natural sound, you really want to kill those high frequency resonances and, fre- and reflections, and then you can boost the highs because you're, they're not filled with nasty garbage. Um, and that was kind of the revelation of, of doing being this. There, I know that it made those of us who have left the religion and have come back to talk about the topic, all of us were very uncomfortable with how how comfortable other people were with, with being um, pissed off. They thought that you know, Ryan being at his brother's funeral was, was an act of audacity was regarded as an act of audacity. How selfish. Why can't he... There's a little bit there. It's not as bad as the other mic. Just listen to this one. You can hear all these nasty frequencies. Can he just, like, leave us alone? I have to pull it another mic. You can actually just drop this in. Then you have the exact same one you've made. Um, And they won't be... It won't be correct, actually. So don't just rely on that. Um, each microphone will have its own frequency love. problems love with him. that room. Still did love suffering like that. And just was, Listen to that. Just rang as like really selfish. Why, why isn't he thinking about us? Ryan knew him better than anyone else in the world. how comfortable other people were with with being um, pissed off. They thought that you know, Ryan being at his brother's funeral was, was an act of audacity, was regarded as an act of audacity. How selfish. There's like, there's like the Esser thing happening in this zone. So I'll pull that down and then that should clear up some of the high pitch I essing. know and have loved and and then I don't want to fuck with the original mastering. I'm not going to save this, I don't think, but let's give you an idea. Like love. now on this mic, because we killed that like whistling sound, we can probably pull up the, the highs. Suffering like that. It just was, just rang as like really selfish. Maybe it's a little overkill, why, but. Why isn't he thinking about us? You get a little bit more vocal clarity and um, naturalness with this higher with pulling the highs up without those that nasty other whistle. people were with, with being um, pissed off. They thought that, you know, Ryan being at his brother's funeral was... So that's what's possible with this one. And you can just easily... Oh my god. <laughs> this one's off. I'm doing these adjustments with that off. That one's on. This is on. This one must be off too. I copied the one that was neutral. Okay. So it was, it was an act of audacity. 
was regarded as an act of audacity. Yeah, it's a little How selfish. Push, punchy on Why can't he just like leave us alone? It's his brother's funeral. So I basically like zero, just zero that like, out. I already have what? the CQ on the guy. Okay. Anyway, I just want to give you those tools. Like this is the the thing I do for all my microphones. Um, I've now unselected them as Motley only mic on. Um, these are all now off. I just wanted to. Oh, they're not. Um, turn those off. Okay. So if I want to save this, I can. Um, I just want to show you that. That is the trick that I have learned to do to every single microphone. How comfortable other people were with, with being um, pissed off. They thought that you know, Ryan being at his brother's funeral was, was an act of audacity. So there is the overall lesson. I hope that was helpful in getting natural sound out of your microphones and your speakers while canceling unwanted frequencies.